So I definitely just filmed this entire video without my microphone plugged in. So take two. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing and doing a tutorial, showing you some swatches of the new Natasha Denona Coral Palette. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. little story about this palette. It actually released while I was out of town and I really wasn't paying attention to makeup releases because I didn't want to order anything that was going to be at my house when I wasn't. So I just thought I was going to pass on this palette altogether. And then once upon a time, it was a late evening two days ago and sometimes you're just scrolling through the Sephora section and you're like, meh. Why not? Her 5 pm palettes are something that I do usually pass on most of the time. I try to pick them up if I'm really interested in the color scheme. And for some reason, this one didn't scream out to me. But now that I'm looking at it in person, I'm like, it's really pretty. <laughs> so, major facts about this guy. It is available right now on Sephora.com. It will be available in stores August 9th. So that's just in a couple days. So this is described as an ultimate palette for autumn featuring Natasha's legendary saturated pure colored pigments. Do you guys ever read the reviews on the Sephora website? Some of them are so funny. Overpriced and underwhelming. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is one of Natasha Denona's full-sized five pan eyeshadow palettes. There are 2.5 grams in each pan. For some reason online, at first, this looked like one of her mini ones to me, but it's not. It's one of the full size. So I honestly kind of wish this was a mini one because I like the price of that one a lot more, even though the value's not as good. The price is a lot prettier to my wallet. So the packaging of this guy is her typical five pan eyeshadow palette packaging. It's just a clear cover, which I personally prefer because I love seeing my colors before I grab them. Yeah, pretty packaging is all great, but there's just something so functional about this. And eyeshadows are pretty. There's nothing wrong with a clear cover. It also has some holes in the back, so if you want to take out the pans, you can mix and match with other ones from her other palettes, and you can just poke it through the hole and it'll come right out. A problem that some Natasha Denona palettes have had is the eyeshadows falling out. This one... Mine is pretty sturdy. None of them are coming out, so that's always great because I have had a couple that have fallen out, so this one seems quite sturdy. So in this palette, you are getting five eyeshadows. Two of them are going to be matte, two of them are going to be shimmers, and one of them is something more of what I would consider a duochrome lid topper type shade. The whole vibe behind this palette, of course, is that it is a coral eyeshadow palette, but it's supposed to be the ultimate palette for fall. Honestly, this palette, just looking at it, and on my eyes, it really does not scream fall to me at all. It seems like it's more of a spring palette, especially if you cover these two. I mean, you can't get more springy than that. If you were to put these two together, yes, that is very fall, but just to advertise it as an autumn palette, it's more springy, which I'm okay with because I much prefer a springy palette anyways. So first and foremost, formulation-wise, this is great. That's just something I want to address right away because for a while, Natasha Denona was a little bit inconsistent in her formulas. Uh, she would play around with new formulas in her palettes. And some of them just were not very good. And you know, we're paying a lot. This is $50. You're paying a lot. Every eyeshadow in here should be amazing. And I have to say, in this palette, she did it. So this one is a good palette from her. You're not going to be let down. So I'm going to go over the eyeshadows individually and talk about them. So I want to talk about the mattes first. So she has two mattes. First, you have this more peachy shade. I will say this does apply a bit more pink than it looks in the pan. I feel like a lot of times Natasha's formula does do that. I don't mind it. I like a good pink eyeshadow, but it's just something that I did want to note for you guys. It's very pigmented. It blended out like a dream. It is a good matte formula, just as all of Natasha's matte formulas are. The next shade is this terracotta red shade right here. Again, very pigmented, very blendable. It really is not as scary to apply as it looks. I did find myself having to build, and that's not a bad thing at all. I was using a very light hand just because I am wary of some of those shades, and a lot of times in other brands when there's a shade like, it's extremely powdery, a little bit chalky, things like that. Not with this formula, it's the perfect texture. If you ask me, not too much fallout, 
great amount of pigmentation without it being too much. I found myself getting a little bit less than I was expecting, which I was okay with because it built on perfectly. So I really do like this shade. It was surprising to me. Okay, so let's talk about the other two shimmer formulas that we have here. So this first one is like a peachy color with an orange and yellow shift to it absolutely gorgeous i have to say i think this is my favorite shade in the palette no i don't think it is i know it is it's just gorgeous and this all over the lid is gonna be mm. for me this is like the star of the show i think it's so beautiful and it's a really nice formula her formula is very creamy super easy to pick up what's unique about her shimmer formula is it just sticks to your skin as soon as you put it on there I love it so much and then you have this red shade right here the shimmery cranberry I don't know I'm kind of sick of this shade I think the reason being she had a shade like this in her sunrise palette so I'm kind of over it but it is really pretty and I cannot fault the quality I mean look at that it's gorgeous I just I'm sick of this shade for some reason. <laughs> and then the last one we have is the more interesting formula. This is probably my least favorite shade in the palette. Um, it's a very strange color. It's like a lavender and peach duochrome shade. And I want you to see there's not much pigmentation that you're getting. So this is more of a lid topper. It is going to look really pretty all over the lid alone. But I think it's a bit of an odd color. In this palette, if you ask me, I would have preferred something different, a different formula as well. This is a good formula. It does a good job as a lid topper, but I'm just not feeling it in this palette. I'm really not. What I would love to see is, I feel like I haven't seen a great foiled formula like she has in these palettes in a while because the really foiled formulas in here are absolutely insane these eyeshadow palettes by the way have a bit better quality than most of her palettes I mean most of her palettes are still amazing but there's something special about those big palettes and I would have liked to have seen that formula be this color right here I think you could have done some really fun things like a really metallic foiled peach shade right here would have been stunning like an out of this world peach shade but anyways that shades good I'm just being I'm just being me so the look that I created today I wanted to incorporate all five of the colors in here in this look but honestly this is not the kind of look I would gravitate to at first so I did just want to mention a few color combinations that are inspiring me so hopefully this inspires you so the next look I'm going to be doing with this palette is just going to be these two shades right here just a really pretty fresh pinky peach look this is gonna look gorgeous also these two shades would go really well together and of course this deep red fall smoky eye right here another color combination would be to play with the crease colors and then blend these two so maybe put this in the inner half this in the outer half and really blend the two in the center of the lid that's going to be gorgeous that was kind of the look i was going for but i wanted to play with this color as well but the way these two were blending together was scrumptious so please try that combo out if you have this palette let me quickly go into how i did get this look so the first thing that i did was i took the light peachy matte shade and i applied that as my transition color with a big fat blending brush applied beautifully looks beautiful great transition shade for this palette the next color that i took was the matte cranberry color i know i do my looks like all the same but guess where i put it in my outer corner kind of blended it in a little bit on the lower lash line as well as you can see it really blended beautiful it didn't come off too harsh at first which is nice it just allowed me to build and still look really nice next shade that i took was the foiled cranberry color and i put that right on the outer third of my lid right on top of that matte red shade what's amazing about this color is that it applies great with a brush if you want more control but you know it applies better with a finger if you want more pigmentation then i used my finger i think really can only get by by using a finger with this shade right here and I just apply that right to the center of my eyelid and this adds a fun twist to the look and then I took this shade right here my favorite one I used a brush for more control and then I would kind of alternate between the brush and my finger and apply that to the inner third of my lid and then I took some time to blend the three together I reapplied the lid topper on top so that you can really see that interesting color shift 
and that is what led me to this moment right here. So as far as this palette goes for deeper skin tones, I really do think this is going to look lovely on you. I think all of these shades are going to work well for you. I don't think it's the best suited palette for deeper skin tones. I think you are going to have to go into other matte palettes in particular to be able to create more depth and dimension to the eyes. But for the most part, I definitely think you can get all of these colors to work for you, but you may need to grab into other places. Do I think this palette is worth it? You know what? If you like the color scheme, I do. This is a lot of money and with Natasha Denona's past of being a little bit inconsistent, it's important to listen to reviews to know if it really is worth the amount of money it is. And I say every shade in here is pretty much a banger really really nice she did a good job with this one so i'm very happy with this one so anyways that is all i have for today's review i hope you guys found it helpful if you purchased this palette let me know your experience with it thank you guys so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i do hope you take the time to do so and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one